first one walking out right now out of the blue corner is going to be Robert Padilla. Is that right? Robert Padilla out of Omni Striking. There he is. Robert Padilla, quite a history. Bullied as a kid, grew up doing backyard boxing in Newark. Started in Muay Thai a few years back. He's a fighter, fighter's fighter. He loves to bang it out. His four-year-old son, Robert Jr., cheering him on from home as his father goes for the Gamma 155-pound title. He will be facing off against Jose Rodriguez of the UFC gym in Staten Island and Team Real. They are here to make a statement. Jose's fe feeling the rhythm of this evening already during his walkout, but I've got to tell you, when you grew up doing backyard boxing and defending yourself in the schoolyard every day, we've got to know that he's tough. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Robert Padilla out of the blue corner. He loves body shots, loves his body shots, and Jose Rodriguez has quite a task in front of him. It's the first time we're seeing Jose Rodriguez, and I'm always excited to see new fighters come out and see what they've got. He's been around the Long Island circuit making noise, and I've heard the name brought up time and time again. And he is here making his K-Series debut to a raucous crowd, really loving him. To get this title bout kicked off, we will go to Mike Falvo. The action continues on the card for K-Series kickboxing with our fourth and final championship bout. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds, it is four. The Gamma New York State 155 pound championship. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, representing Omni Striking, Robert Padilla. And his opponent, standing across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Representing Team Real out of Staten Island, New York, Jose Rodriguez. All right, fellas, you got the rules at the fighters' meeting. Protect yourself at all times. Listen for my commands. Keep it clean, all right? Touch gloves, back to your corner. Jose Rodriguez with a huge crowd here. You'd think he's already, he'd already won the title with yes. the sound of him. I think we are going to get noisy in here in a second. Referee Chris Romulo starts off this championship action. Liam Tarrant and LG Pinnell joining you here from K-Series. Robert Padilla in the blue corner. Jose Rodriguez in the red corner. Gamma 155 pound title on the line. I like that Robert is starting off with his jab. He's establishing his range, but the movement of Jose Rodriguez is very impressive. His head movement is very slick. His hands are up high. Beautiful sidekick, kind of karate style as he's standing right now. He's switching between Ooh. head movement that looks like a boxer and karate kicks and punches. Big knee from Jose there in the corner against Robert Padilla. He did such a great job of throwing those punches in there too. Lands two solid ones in the corner. I really like the head movement of Jose. It's always harder to hit a moving target. So he's keeping his head on the move, moving circularly. Seems to have a very boxing oriented kind of movement, hopping. He does, and then he sets his front foot over to the side to set himself up into a karate stance to throw some kicks. It's very interesting. I'm starting to fall in love with this heartbeat background we've got going on. It gets me all amped up and excited. Very cool here at the K-Series. Big cross and then a hook there at the end from Jose. Ooh, nice angle out from Rodriguez. Now he steps around, he's right in stance, ready to go again. He has such awareness of distance. He knows when he's out of outside of punching range of Robert Padilla and he knows when he's in it. Nice job mixing up a kick followed by a punch from Rodriguez. He saw that cross coming before it was thrown, and he slipped underneath it. Very slick. Such awareness of the hands. A little bit unpredictable there from Jose. Bit of a feeling out round. We've only got 10 seconds left. Some big shots were landed, but I think at the end of this next round, we won't be able to say that they will, they're still feeling each other out. I think they're going to turn it up a little bit.
Here we go, going into the second round. Very impressed by the movement and speed and timing of Jose Rodriguez in that first round. I'm a fan of both of these gentlemen already. Jose is very slick, and he's tidy with his movements. He's very in control and uh, precise with his head where, it's, where it is. He's aware. His hands are up high and tight whenever he's in range. And then he dances a little bit there on the outside. I think Robert would benefit from throwing some lead kicks and uh, preventing Jose from dancing around the way he has been. The Going back to Theory, taking, taking away those legs uh, so he can't move as quickly, take away some punching power. Yeah, the also the kicks of Rodriguez, very unpredictable. Coming, very karate-based uh, background, it seems. Right from the side, coming in. But he is definitely amped up. And we are going to get into the second round of a scheduled five here at the K-Series. Lead kicks coming from Rodriguez. A little faster Ooh. rhythm here. Robert thought he landed something and stepped in there. Very slick uppercut and inside fighting from Rodriguez. Absolutely. I love the way that he angled out and put Robert in the corner and backed him up again. That was beautiful. Nice kick there from uh, Padilla up to the head of Jose. Luckily, his hands were up. Jumping push kick there from Rodriguez. It didn't land very flush, but you know what it does do? It shows your opponent that you're completely unpredictable. And that's a scary prospect to not know what your opponent's about to throw. Everything's about patterns and knowing what's coming next. Nice it's low hard kick. to stay ahead when they're unexpected. Nice low kick landed there from Padilla. Wow, those hand combinations from Rodriguez are dangerous. He puts it together so well, gets in and slips out. Mm -hmm. So uh, he, for some reason, he's reminding me of like a Cody Garbrand. Absolutely. Gets in, lands a shot, slips out. S seems to have a strong boxing, boxing background. It's all awareness. He knows when to tuck his chin. He knows when to move his head. He knows when to slip and duck. He seems to see punches coming right as the body moves to throw them. One thing that I did notice about Jose, though, that's very irregular in kickboxing is that his eyes are set on his opponent's eyes. They aren't set in the midsection, which is more traditional and typical that you'd see. I wonder why that is. Ooh. Seems to be benefiting him. Robert Padillas is getting a combination off here, and they're dancing back to the center of the ring. Oh, very solid right kick there for Padilla. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Rodriguez misread what was coming his direction, ate a bit of that big head kick to end round two. I think Padilla is, is coming a, alive now. It seems like he's kind of, maybe he's gotten the, thinks he's gotten the timing of Rodriguez, starting to a little more confident throwing things. Because with a guy like Rodriguez, I mean, tricky angles, moving in different directions, kicks coming from weird things. You don't want to be reckless with a guy like that, do Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Absolutely not. Yeah, you don't want to be reckless, and you, you want to be able to stick to the basics. The, sti the basics are going to win. Anytime you're fighting somebody that's a little bit flashier, you stick to the basics. Um, usually you can start to, to land something a little later on, something like a jab, low kick, hook, low kick, cross, jab, cross to the body, hook. Short, straight combinations that cut the angles down. We are going to see now, does Padilla capitalize more on this? And has he figured out the puzzle that Jose Rodriguez is presenting? Or will Rodriguez kick this up a gear and start going even harder? Both men clearly wanting this 155-pound gamma title. Third round, here we go. Again, the movement of Jose is just, I mean, it can put you in a trance. He's dancing, he's marching, he's dancing, he's marching, and it all just looks so planned and, like I said before, tidy. That's a great way to put it. It almost puts you in a trance. You get lulled into his rhythm and tr trying to follow him. Exactly. They look to be having fun in there. They're high-fiving each other, smiling, and even talking. Ooh. Hard great shots movement. getting thrown by Padilla. Winging overhand there from Jose Rodriguez. Big body shot there from Jose Rodriguez. Wow. Padillo isn't afraid, though. He's marching back forward. They smile at each other, knowing that they were just in a quite an exchange. <laughs> yeah, that was vicious. You'd hear that from outside the Melrose Ballroom. 
I think that Jose is starting to take note of Padillo's leg kicks. He just checked one for the first time just a moment ago. Padillo may have had some success with that a little earlier. So a big breath coming from Padillo there. Such a such a strange set of combinations at different ranges. Accidental low blow there. It's such a strange mixture of shots coming from Rodriguez, and it's coming in such a strange rhythm. Nice. Oh, I lo love that head movement with Rodriguez. Ducks his head back just enough to get out of the way. Ducks right underneath, comes back up with a shot. Really he just impressive. just a big body knee, but he doesn't seem to be deterred. He's back on his bicycle, moving his feet, moving his head. Hands are up high. I know my boxing coach will be proud to see movement like this in the ring tonight. Oh, uh, just a slip there. Padilla is still moving forward, though, showing a lot of ring generalship, showing a lot of control. I like that he steps off laterally to cut the ring off sometimes. That's a great tool to have in your toolbox. And that was a very, uh, I was very impressed by Rodriguez there through the kick. Padilla was quick enough to get out of the way. Rodriguez didn't lose his balance, just turned right back down and was ready to go. Yep. That might come back to that karate style that we were seeing just a moment ago. Not afraid to turn his hips over and be standing perpendicular to his opponent. We're coming here into the championship rounds. Round number four. Fourth of a scheduled five rounds. I like the advice that I'm seeing out of Padillo's corner. Lots of encouragement. Telling him to set up his right hand, which I think would be very wise. Throw several jabs or hooks with your front hand to get Rodriguez's hands up and set him up for that strong right hand. Unfortunately, Jose has other plans this evening. Let's see if he can put that plan into action here in the fourth round. 155 pound Gamma, New York State title on the line. Good cross, hook cross there from Badillo after a heavy right kick. Again, kicking to the open side of the body is coming into play. That's been a theme tonight. You notice that Jose Rodriguez is a southpaw, so his, his left side is open. And that's why Padillo is throwing so many right kicks as opposed to left kicks. Nice rear teeth landed there from Rodriguez. Oh, wow. And another heavy right kick. Anytime you're fighting a southpaw as an orthodox, you want to be throwing lots to the right on that open side of the body. And we'll see if Padilla can stay away from that power side of Rodriguez. Oh, nice nice flush body shot landed there for Rodriguez. Good timing on it. Yeah. He seemed to stop it in midair to land it right when the opening popped up. Lots of cheering coming from Jose Rodriguez's team and fans. Rodriguez hears it and comes alive. Throwing that big shot, but I will say, the defense of Padilla is very impressive. He it gets is. those hands up there. They're not always up there, but when they need to be, they're there. Oh. Fun spinning kick. Both guys smiling. Another spin. I love to see people have fun. I see some damage there under the eye of Jose on the right side. Swelling as well as redness, maybe even a small scratch or cut. Could be from that jab of Padilla. He's been pawing in there all night. I love the fact that Padilla paused that way to set up his right hand. Ooh, and that is a hard right hand coming at you. Ten seconds remain in this round. Yeah, I see what you're saying about the swelling under the right eye of Rodriguez there. There may be bleeding even. It's hard to tell from this angle. I think that there might be bleeding. Um... End His corner's going to look to clean that up here in between the fourth and fifth round. Yeah, cut woman going over. Adrian Zapp to take a look at the eye, or just underneath the eye, the upper cheek. One round left to make a statement, and a title is on the line. Fifth and final, two minutes to go. To see who will take this Gamma New York State 155 pound title home. It wasn't that long ago that I was in the same 
stool that these gentlemen are in this evening fighting for a title. And I can remember my coach getting into my face in between the fourth and fifth and telling me, this is it. This is your last shot. And I'm sure that these gentlemen are hearing something very similar right now. Through Nothing all, left to leave. Leave it all in the ring. Through all the tiredness and all the pain, this is the, you've got two minutes to make this happen. That's exactly right. You've been training all this time for this one opportunity. Through all the road work and the sparring, through all the trials and all the miles, two minutes are left, and we will see who wants this title more. There's a possibility of giving this fight fight of the night just because of the back and forth nature of it and the technique that both, gen both gentlemen are displaying. Absolutely, yeah. Complete. I haven't seen any flailing or anything like that. They're both looking to land everything and control with yeah, lots of power. That's an interesting point because Rodriguez is doing a lot of complicated spinning moves, but he's not like throwing them out there recklessly with that's reckless right. abandon. He's that's right. precise about it. I think it's the positioning of his hips. He never lets his hips go over his toes whenever he twists, whether it's to the left or the right. And by doing that, you're keeping your base on your feet, staying nice and controlled. That's an old Karate 101 type of uh, principle. So much training going on here by both gentlemen. Jose uh, darts forward. And those punches, Rodriguez does such a good job using the punches. Not all of them are power shots coming in. A lot of them are setup shots and just keeping somebody at bay. Absolutely. Very effective with those. And that's, it's hard whenever you're fighting somebody that likes to paw like that. Padilla is also good at that. You're seeing that now. He's pawing, yes. pawing. Mm -hmm. And you're getting touch, touch, touch. So then you let your guard down because you're like, oh, he's just touching me. And then a boom, a big power shot comes out of it. Whether it's through the body or head, it'll surprise you. And then he just drops the hammer on you. Exactly. 30 seconds left in the fight. If my, if my brother was here, he'd be yelling to empty the clip now. <laughs> now is the time. Crowd's urging them on. 10 seconds left. Last 10 seconds, and we've got Jose on the ropes, but he seems completely in control and relaxed. Who lands the last shot? Let's see. Beautiful fight wow. by these gentlemen. That will be the fight, and we will go to the judges' scorecards. What a fight. <laughs> Padilla's corner almost came in there with his water, trying to uh, coach him as if there was a sixth <laughs> round. I'd like to see a sixth round. I know, I really would too, and that just shows me that they're prepared for more. At this point, though, you want to be standing in your corner going, I gave everything that I have, so I go yeah. home with zero regrets whether I get the title or not. These, both of these gentlemen have so much to be proud of. In my opinion, it would be so much worse to go home with a regret and think I could have done a little more. 100%. Win or lose, if you leave it all out there and fight well, that's what counts. The crowd seems to know who won, but the judges get the ultimate decision. Looks like they're counting up the scorecards now. Lil Wayne once said, it's not what you walk away from, it's what you walk away with. And now let's see who walks away with this Gamma 155 pound Are you title. Sure that was Lil Wayne? That might have been Socrates. I get those two mixed up all the time. <laughs> we go to Mike Falvo. How about a round of applause for one hell of a championship fight? And now, after five rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the official scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision. And the new Gamma New York State 155 pound champion, out of the red corner, Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez brings the title back to Staten Island. The team real and the UFC gym in Staten Island. The crowd is ecstatic about it. A well-earned victory and respect being shown between both these men. Robert Padilla doing an amazing job in there tonight. Nothing to be ashamed of whatsoever. 
we all won by getting to be here and watch that fight. Absolutely, we've had some great fights this evening, but stylistically, this may have been one of my favorites just because of the technique and beautiful, tidy movements that we saw from the new champion, Jose Rodriguez.